today we're going to bring a kettle and this is a warmer for a kettle it's going to boil the water or get it hot to where we want it's very simple right now we actually put some water in there we rinsed it out a couple times all right there is a top the top is going to be hot there was actually a message right here that the top is completely hot this gets hot that's why they have a a ring a silicone ring here so you can almost grab it but my recommendation is not get it get something maybe a cover or something to pick it up because it gets hot there are some little locks which is not a convenient lock it's just, just a pretty much a notch that kind of keeps it closed now the kettle comes in different varieties colors all right various colors and very simple to install all you got to do is place it in here push the on button and it starts boiling automatically the actual connection it's 120 connection it has three points it comes with instructions too if you need extra instructions uh inside it's very critical to know inside we're going to take a look at it inside what what you need to know all right inside if you guys can see there's a max level you can see the actual uh, a little n that says max that means you can't overfill the actual water. It has to be below the actual ring in, in case you can see it right there. It's actually part of the boiling system. It needs to be clear and cannot go over it, right? Now, regarding the water itself, there's a big uh, lip that spills a lot of water. Just be careful. But if you notice, the actual water lip has a filter, all right? So in case you have some, uh, uh, if you put coffee or any kind of grinds or anything like that, it won't pass through, if you guys can see. Very simple. I like that little setup that they have on uh, the filter in there. So let's put it to use and let's see how hot it is. We have a couple of testing tools that we're gonna test it out. We have a thermal camera that we're gonna do a, a test and a thermometer, a digital thermometer. All right, we're gonna refill this again because in the instructions it tells you to fill it in from here. So you can make sure that no particles are gonna go in because there's actually a filter in there so do it from the, any kind of drainage just make sure you fill it in through here that's what the instruction says but people avoid it and always put it through here but it's best to put it in here to avoid any kind of particles in there uh any kind of metals or anything like that you want to avoid that you don't want to burn the bottom of it and start getting exposed so let's go ahead and put it together and if you guys can notice there is a light in the bottom and all we got to do is this is off if you guys can see it and on it turns it on and if you guys can see there's a little light indication that's on so that's a good good indicator. So right now we're gonna let it heat up and we're feeling it. It's a little hot, it's getting warm right now. And let's go come back and see how warm it gets. You can actually see it warming up on the bottom. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and point the camera a little bit lower. It's about, it's getting about 80 to 90. We're gonna see it, temperatures rise and we're gonna see the actual water flow all the way to the top where it's gonna start boiling from the bottom and it's gonna increase it to the top. So let's come back. All right, so right now it is boiling. You can hear it. It's come, It's getting hot in there. We're gonna let it run a little bit longer, but the water is extremely coming out real fast, boiling. You can see it, you can hear it. So the system automatically stopped. And right now, if you guys can see the hottest it got down to the bottom, it's about 150 to 180. So right now we're gonna go say, see if it temperature, it took a couple of matter of minutes just to get this hot. All right, so this cup I have changes color to orange when it turns, um, when there's something hot in there. So we're gonna grab it. You could grab it from here and then you're just gonna end up putting some water in there if you guys can see it. And it's gonna turn completely hot and the actual cup turns it into color. I'm gonna stop there. We're gonna let it run and we're gonna see the temperatures too to so how hot it gets so let's go ahead and turn this on you can see the temperatures here put that in there and right now we're about it's going over a hundred a hundred and twelve a hundred and thirty one hundred and thirty seven hundred forty a hundred and fifty a hundred and fifty six hundred fifty a hundred and sixty so this is really hot 168 170 so we're looking at uh, oh close to 180 almost so it's still going up actually it's 180 now and you can see it's 120 no 182 182 183 and i think that's about it because it's slowing down but look at the cup change color you can see you can see the actual hotness of it all right hot down here and extremely hot uh, on the bottom and cold on the top. If you guys see where the water line's at, this cup changes color every time uh, you you, uh, you put hot water. And this indication that the water is uh, super hot right now. So 
um, it's a it's a good thing. You know, if you're gonna make some coffee, you just gotta make sure you keep it a little lower than this temperature. You know, make sure you can let it cool off. Maybe mix some milk up or something. Um, 183, pretty much. That's how much it got. So this thing, in a matter of a, a couple minutes, I would say three minutes, it was completely boiled down. So this is perfect. We're gonna serve tea. If you're gonna serve a coffee, and you have gas, this this system's pretty good. Very fast, easy to use. So we're doing the tea test here, and right now we are super hot. It's about 180 right now, but the if you see it inside, it's about, yeah, 160, 180. So it is hot, and the system's still hot, but it turns off already. We don't have to worry about turning off. It automatically triggers itself to turn off. So very simple to use.